Hi, I'm Dave Vickers and welcome to The Photo Show. I want to do today something really simple. I've not got much to do. And over at my parents' place, they've got a couple of caricatures that were made of myself and my dad back in the 80s. And they've been sitting in the hallway and the sunlight has faded them out a bit. So what I did, I got my mum to scan them on a flatbed scanner and just email me the files over. So we're keeping social distancing and all that jazz. And what I thought I'd do, I'd just give them a bit of a retouch in Photoshop to try and bring them back to what they originally looked like. So here we go. Here's the one of me, unbelievably. And as you can see by the date, this was 1984. So I would have been 16, 17. Crikey. Never mind. Anyway, let's, <laughs> let's scan over that bit. As you can see, it's a, it's a really good caricature. If I stick up a photo of what I actually looked like back then, you can see this was a pretty good caricature. Looking at me now, I think I might have eaten that bloke. But the first thing I'm going to do here is just crop it down. So I've put a crop tool in and I've set the crop tool to be 21 centimeters by 29.7 centimeters, which is A4 size. As you can see here, we've got a bit of the mat from the frame in the scan as well. So I'm just going to bring the crop in so we're just on the actual image so bring it into there and I'll line it up so we've got where we are so it's our crop tool press enter so then we've got the character as a nice A4 size image so if I want to print it back out again I can have it as a nice A4 size image I'm not so sure I'm going to want it up on the wall but at least I've got the option so basically what's happened here is the Sun has faded this out so the the colors have faded out and it's not as punchy as it used to be. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer. So I'm going to go Control and J and you can see in the layers palette now that we have our background layer and our copy layer. So I'm working just on the copy layer here so that we've still got the background layer as a reference point and if I do mess it up we've still got a solid copy as the background that we can start all over again with. But all I'm going to do here is basically just use a curves adjustment on it. So Control and M. I could do it directly on the layer but I'm just going to use a curves adjustment here. Now, as I was saying, it's faded out. And you can see by the curves graph here, there's not much information in the darks here, in the blacks, and the whites are a little bit faded as well. So let's start by setting a black point. Let's bring the black slider in. Let's bring it right into there. And already, we're already looking better than we were. Let's bring the white point up as well. So we're getting the paper nice and white as well. Bring it down a little bit there. Hit OK. And do you know what? That might be as much as we need to do. So if I show you where we started off, that's where the original started off. With a little curves adjustment, we're back to what it looked like in 1984, which is 36 years ago. When someone says 20 years ago, I think of 1980, not the year 2000. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, we used to think about the year 2000 and work out how old we were going to be in the year 2000. And, you know, there was so much science fiction on what the year 2000 was going to be like. And some of it came true. A lot of the technology we have these days with computers and all that definitely came true. But I've not seen many jetpacks or hoverboards, but I'm quite happy with the way things are. But there we go, there's what that looks like after 36 years. So let's merge that down. I'm going to save that as the 2020 version. And we've got one other to do. Same thing, this is one, this is of my father. And this, was, this one was actually done a year later. I think these were done at a corporate event that we were working at and they had a caricaturist there and we were allowed to have our caricatures done. So here's the one of my father, my dad. This was 1985. So I won't tell you how old he was then. We're going to do exactly the same. Crop it down to an A4. There we go. So we've got it as an A4. Duplicate the layer. Control J. Bring up a curves adjustment. Control M. In fact, what I'll do, let's do it, instead of doing it that way, let's bring up the curves adjustment on the layer here. So we'll come up to our adjustment things there. Exactly the same deal. We've now just got the curves adjustment here and it's it's come up as an adjustment layer above it. So we'll do it that way this time. Makes no difference. So we'll bring the black point in there. This one seems to be a little bit more faded. Must have been near the door. Bring the whites up a touch there. 
because it's a caricature, not a photograph, we can be a little bit stronger with the, the way we're working. I would never have used a curves layer this harsh on a photograph. It would just it just wouldn't come out that well. So let's bring that up a touch there. Close that out. Let's have a look. That's where it started. That's where we got to. Just using a curves adjustment to bring the con the contrast back. Bring the black point back so that we're getting purer blacks. Bring the white point up so we're getting purer whites. And do somewhere in the mids just to bring the colours through. But there we go. Let's save that one out. So we'll merge that down. Shift Control E. Shift Control S to save out. Label that as 2020. And save. And there we go, nice and simple. Just a really simple project, something you can do in Photoshop. If you've got any artwork or something like that that's faded in the sun, obviously don't do it with anything expensive. Don't stick a Rembrandt or a Picasso in your scanner. Scan it on a flatbed scanner. Quick curves adjustment, save it again. And there you go, back to how it was. Until next time, I'm Dave Vickers. This is The Photo Show. Please stay safe and well, and we'll see you then.